This video provides a quick overview of the features of the visualizations in the Tombio ID framework. For this demonstration, we are working with a knowledge base on UK Harvestman and the two column key visualization, but the general principles are applicable to any knowledge base or key visualization. On the left of the screen are user input controls where you can specify character states and on the right are graphics representing the taxa in the knowledge base. The taxa graphics respond to the character states you input. So for example if I specify this character state you can see that the taxa respond by moving and changing colour. When I enter a character state, each taxon is given a matching score for that character, which ranges between minus 1 and plus 1. A score close to 1 means that the value given for that character's state is a good match for the taxon, and a score close to minus 1 means that it's a bad match. A score of 0 means that the character state is neither strong evidence for or against a particular taxon. Knowledge base authors give each character a weighting reflecting its importance and reliability in identification. For this character, the author is given a weighting of 9 out of a maximum of 10, and the matching score is adjusted by this, that's why matching taxa here scores 0.9 rather than 1. As I enter several character states, the score for each state is summed for each taxon, and these are the overall matching scores presented here. High scores are highlighted with a blue colour, and low scores by this vermilion colour. Neutral scores are a straw colour. When several character states have been entered, high scoring taxa are the most likely matches for the specimen in hand and very low scoring taxa are the least likely. Neutral taxa that score around zero could be good matches for some characters and bad matches for others. Exactly how the taxa respond to changes in their overall matching scores depends on the visualisation being used. In this two column key, the left hand column lists taxa that have an overall matching score above zero and the right hand column lists those where the overall matching score is less than zero. In both columns the higher scoring taxa are shown towards the top and the lower scoring taxa are shown towards the bottom. In most visualizations clicking on the name of a taxon will result in a taxon details window popping up which shows three things knowledge base values, images and additional details. Let's look at each of these in turn. The Knowledge Base tab lists all the character state values stored in the Knowledge Base for the selected taxon. The values for all characters that are available for user input are shown in bold. Any that aren't shown in bold, such as these ones, are for information only and not available as user input to the key. The Image tab is where you can access all images associated with this taxon in the Knowledge Base. You can scroll between images by using these forward and backward arrows or by selecting from these camera icons that appear when you move your mouse pointer to the top of the image. Holding the mouse over each camera icon displays the caption of the image associated with that icon. You can switch directly to that image by clicking the icon. You can use your mouse wheel to zoom in and out of the image. When you are zoomed in, you can pan an image by pressing and holding your left mouse button and dragging. You can resize the whole image by resizing the taxon details window. If the window is not big enough to display the whole image, a scroll bar will appear on the right. The third tab on the taxon details window is where you can see additional text details associated with the taxon. This is a great way for knowledge base authors to provide information such as species descriptions. If more than one text file is associated with a taxon, a drop down list appears at the top of this tab and users can select the information they require. Now let's turn our attention to the character input controls that are available with the key visualizations. There are two main types of control, drop down lists of text values and numeric spinners. The drop down list for text values behave in one of two ways at the discretion of the knowledge base authors single select or multi select. Here is an example of a single select control. If I have a value selected and then I select another one, the first value is replaced by the new value. To clear a control like this, just click the cross on the selected value. 
knowledge base author may decide that values for a certain character should be exclusive, i.e. single selectable, where the character states are clear alternatives. Here is an example of a multi-select control. I can add any number of values to those selected. To remove a value, click the cross here. A knowledge base author may decide that values for a certain character should be multi-selectable, where the character states are difficult to interpret and they want to allow users some latitude to pick more than one value. Here is an example of numeric control called a spin or spinner control because you can spin the selected values up or down using these up and down arrows respectively. The values increase in increments defined by the knowledge base author. When using these spinning arrows the value will not go above or below the maximum and minimum limits set by the knowledge base author. However, values can also be typed directly into the control, and in this case the upper and lower limits supplied by the knowledge base author are not applied. To clear a numeric control, simply click the cross on its right. Typically, a knowledge base author will allow some latitude on numeric characters by specifying a low strictness value for it. This means that even taxa for which the permitted range for the character does not include the specified value can score something depending on how close the two are. So typically, for numeric characters, a whole range of matching values is expressed across the taxa, reflecting how close the specified value is to the permitted ranges for that character and taxon. A similar situation can arise for text characters that the knowledge base author has defined as ordinal. An ordinal character is one whose possible text values can be ranked in a meaningful order. Consider this ordinal character. The range of possible values have a meaningful rank as described in the drop-down list. If I select the first value, you can see that there is a whole range of matching scores because the knowledge base author has allowed some latitude by specifying a low strictness value for it. Taxa with values for this character that have ranks closest to the specified value will score most highly, and those further away will score lower, much like a numeric character. If the knowledge base author has specified groups of characters, you will see tabs representing these groups here. Click on the tabs to display only those characters in that group. To see all characters together, click on the All tab. The Show Hide toggle allows you to hide any characters that haven't been set. This is a useful way of viewing only those values that have been set. To clear all values together, use the Reset All button. If a character name turns a million when you move the mouse over it and the mouse cursor changes to an arrow with a question mark, then the Knowledge Base Author has defined help for that character. You can see the help by clicking the character name. You can scroll and resize the help window.